There were two major rebellions in England during 1549, and in this video I will cover the second of them, Kett's Rebellion. In 1549, Edward VI was on the throne. However, he was just 11 years old at the time, so the government was run as a protectorate under Lord Protector Somerset. On religion, Edward VI ruled with a notably pro-Protestant religious policy, which gave further power to the English monarch and less to the Pope in Rome. Beyond religion, in 1549 a number of difficult factors were at play for ordinary people. Agriculture was in crisis, with the enclosure of land by the wealthy leaving many peasants with no land to farm and often finding food scarce or simply too expensive. Inflation, rising rents, unemployment, declining wages all combined to make conditions ripe for rebellion. Against this backdrop, the rebellion started in Wyndham in Norfolk, where there was a feast held in, in honour of St Thomas a Becket, something made illegal by Henry VIII, and that feast soon led to the tearing down of hedges and fences used to enclose land. Many of the fences were owned by local landover Sir John Flowerdew. Flowerdew paid the rebels to attack Robert Kett's lands instead of his own, but Kett soon began to sympathise with the rebel cause and even tore down his own fences. Eventually, Kett led the rebels to set up camp at Mousehold Heath overlooking Norwich, and they drew up 29 grievances to send to Edward's protector, Lord Somerset. The main demands in the grievance list were an end to the enclosure of land, protection of common land from nobles, local rent caps, and freedom for people to read the Bible themselves. An offer of a pardon for what the Crown called Kett's treason was offered, but Kett rejected this on the basis that he believed he had not committed treason at all. The city of Norwich's gates were then closed to Kett, whose rebels attacked Bishopsgate Bridge and soon took the whole city. A week later, a government force led by the Marquis of Northampton arrived, and this included Italian mercenaries, a fact which enraged Kett and his rebels even further. The rebels defeated Northampton's army, and thus a second government's force of 13,000 men soon arrived. Kett mistakenly moved his men to a less well-defended position at Dussendale in response. 300 of Kett's rebels, including Robert Kett himself, were hanged for their involvement after defeat in battle. What the rebellion suggests is that Edward's protectorate did not sufficiently govern England's economy, and rural resentment about this ran deep. The optics of sending two armies of mercenaries speaks to Somerset's poor political instinct, and the rebellion illustrates the wider dangers that emerge when governments do not respond effectively to people becoming poorer. Thank you for listening and please subscribe for further history videos.